guys. So we've been talking about the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. Today, I'm going to show you a science activity you can do to utilize two of the three R's, reduce and reuse. So the first R is reduce, and reduce means to cut back on the amount of trash you make or to decrease how much you use of something. The second R, reuse, means to find a new way to use trash so that we don't have to throw it out. So let me ask you guys something. Has this ever happened to you? You're coloring, and sometimes you press a little too hard. Oh no, and your crayon breaks. That happens to me sometimes, and I get a little sad, and I think, hmm, maybe I should just throw this crayon away. But now we're gonna use how we can reduce and reuse. Also, sometimes maybe you've used your favorite color so much that there's only a little bit of the crayon left. No problem, you don't have to throw it away. Let me show you how we can reduce and reuse. The first step is to take all of the paper off of the old crayon. So you do that by peeling it off. Next, you decide what colors you want to combine together for your new crayon. So for one crayon, I'm going to do green, yellow, a lighter green, orange, and maybe I'll do a little blue. My other crayon, I'm going to do pink, purple, red, and I think I'll do some blue in that one as well. So I'm gonna finish sorting out all my colors. Now that I separated all of my colors, I need to figure out how I can combine them into one crayon. Right now, all my colors are together, but they're still in their own individual pieces. Hmm, what can I do to combine these? Maybe I put them up and I squeeze them really hard, they'll mush together. Hmm, nope, that didn't work, they're still all separate. What else could I try? I know, I could melt them together. So to do that, I need to go to the oven. Make sure your parents help you with this part. What do you guys think happens when you turn your oven on? Does it get really hot or really cold inside? It gets really hot inside depending on what temperature you set it to. We need this heat in order to melt the crayons to form our new crayons. So ask your parents to set your oven to 300 degrees. While I'm waiting for the oven to heat, I'm going to prepare my crayons for the oven. So I'm going to use a muffin pan. From what I understand, you can also use a silicone ice cube tray. So for one of my crayons, I'm going to try using my muffin pan with a little paper doily inside. I also understand that you can just put it directly into the muffin pan, but I was a little worried that I'd never be able to get the crayons back out. So my first crayon, I'm going to put the pieces inside the paper. If you don't have paper at home, I'm going to try filling one of the cups with aluminum foil. So I'm just going to rip off a little piece and I will stick that in the hole. And I'll put my next batch of crayons in there. oven is heated up to 300 degrees, we can put the crayons inside. Remember, the oven is very hot, so let your parents do this part. Okay, we'll check on them soon. All melted. 
Now time to cool. All right guys, so now it's time for the fun part. I melted my crayons in the oven, then they were liquid. So the key is to give them time to cool off so that they can harden again and we can use our crayons. So I gave mine plenty of time. You're gonna have to use a little patience. Make sure your parents tell you that they're cooled off and hardened and ready to go. So once that happens, what you're going to do is pull them out and basically just unpack them. So here's my one that was in foil. Ah, look how cool that came out. And then my one that I did in the cookie, or in the muffin paper. I think this is a lot easier than risking that it gets stuck in your muffin pan. And look at that one, it kind of looks like a Reese's cup. So then we can go ahead and try them. Wow, that's so cool. Let me try this one. So now with this one crayon that we made, we get lots of different colors. Do you see this one? I ended up with the green and the yellow and the blue and the orange. And this one has purple and blue and red and pink. Super cool. Can't wait to see the crayons that you guys make. Bye.